It started with Gazazi because I got pictures or I got letters from kids. Gazazi has an ambiguous ending, which was the boy fooled by the magician who had the boy witnessed real magic. And kids would write me letters. They'd want to know what happened. You know, did he really turn the dog into a duck? And, you know, I'd, I'd write him letters and I'd say, well, thanks for writing, but I can't tell you. <laughs> what do you think? I didn't expect them to write me another letter, <laughs> another letter and tell me, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to give him the impression that, that I knew something, I was withholding it. I wanted him to think that the, that what existed on the page was a living thing and that, and that it just was, it is. And, and, and it has to, if it, if it has a solution, it's, it's for them to provide. And, uh, and that was the same thing with Jumanji. Jumanji has a somewhat unresolved ending because the game, the game falls into the hands of a couple of boys that we learn on the last page of the book are not going to be particularly apt players of the game. And kids would write back what happens to these boys and, and, and they would write back, uh, sometimes they would actually write their own story of what happens to the boys who find the Jumanji game at the end. But, I didn't write it, I didn't write that last page as a, you know, you see, you see somewhat um, unresolved endings in films as a, as a, and when you see them, you, you understand that there are clear uh, indications that there's a sequel coming. And I never had that in mind. I, I didn't want to suggest that there was a sequel coming, only that, that the story lived on. Even when you close the book, that the action of the story continued. And it may not continue in another book, but it does continue because there's, a, there's this alternate reality. <laughs> and I wanted the children to think about that. I wanted the kids who read the book to think about that alternate reality, and they did. They sent me a lot of Jumanji games, what they thought happened next. And, and uh, um, I've gotten enough of those over the years to, to, on occasion, have actually given it some thought and be tempted by the idea of, of doing it. Um, and then... Uh, uh, about a year and a half ago, I succumbed. Uh, and it was partly because, not because I was interested in exploiting or cannibalizing my own idea, it really had a little bit to do with the fact that in the same way that, that when I undertook Jumanji after Gazazi, I, I, one, of the, one of the motivations was, I think I can do this better. I looked at Jumanji, and, and even though I, I'm very happy, satisfied with what's there, I realized that, that, that there were some elements missing in the story, which is that Peter and Judy, though they're bored and their, their boredom results in them finding in the way authors contrive it, the perfect gift, <laughs> which is the cure for their boredom. There's not much more that you learn about them. They have a sibling relationship. The girl is somewhat protective of the younger brother. But I wanted to write a story where the relationship of the siblings had more to do with the story.